going on guys? I'm doing a bit of trash picking, also known as dumpster diving. Kind of taking over people's unwanted stuff. Pretty sure the house that we're at right now was either a foreclosure or maybe an eviction. Not too sure what it is. Let's have a look. Looks like somebody's been going through this trash too. There is a pool hose. Got a couple buckets. Need a cooler, babe? No, I'm good. No? Okay. Hey, cool. Some yoga. Yeah, you remember those? Yeah, of course. You had to, like, pull and then, and you had to, like, oh my god, <laughs> it's just, like, bring you back. Let's take it home. So funny. You know, they should actually bring those TVs back. I bet you back in the day that was like three or four hundred dollars. Oh, I'm sure. For that. Oh, look. Check this out. Brand new aftershave, not even opened. <gasps> Why would you do that? You're going to stink the whole car up. That's some grandpa cologne right there. Yo, when I'm a grandpa, I'm not going to be wearing this. Is it, a it is. Wow. I thought it was a computer. You got a. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something. Don't ever freaking buy coolers brand new. I mean, you find coolers in the trash every day. Take it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like a lunchbox, like a little lunchbox or something. No way. Whoa, dude! Oh my god. That's epic. Want to take this? Yes. I didn't think it was going to be anything in it. I didn't think, I thought it was going to be all empty. 240 sparks. Malia would like that. Even Ariel would like that. See, this must have been a yard sale. Look, foot bath. Yeah, no thank you. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Got some good stuff. Dude, look at all this stuff. Brand new tape. Thrown out. Brand new tape. Bunch of them. Look at this. Could always use that. Dude. That's crazy. I'll bet you that works too. That's like one of those, um, it's a mirror. But, of course, the mirror's broken. You could actually have a custom mirror put in this. This is one of the ones that stand up. You know what I'm talking about? These are really expensive. I love these. Oh, wow. Take that. A couple of those. What's in those boxes? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna find out right now. They're full. What is this? Oh, it's an M&M &M pop up. Oh, this is freaking rad. It's a display case mm. for M&Ms. Yo, that is so cool. That's such a smart use of cardboard. Yeah, that is so, look, look at the construction on this. That's meant to like fold up, be flat. Super Bowl Super 2017 pop-up with helmet header. What's the next one? Yo, the Super Bowl hasn't even been played yet. For 2017. Valentine's with header. Yo, I bet you these are worth money, man. Just take them. Also, um, some safety glasses. You use these for shooting. Sometimes I don't take everything when it comes to trash picking, but I like showing you guys the kind of stuff that you can find on the side of the road every day. All you gotta do is go out and drive a little bit. And you could actually take this stuff. If you're wanting to get a second income, if you're thinking about just having a, a good paying job, you're tired of where you're working, I'm telling you, I know people that do what I'm doing right now, and they make anywhere from $500 to $1,000 a week. It takes a little bit of hard work, but it's it's good hard work, and it's fun. This is actually fun. You know, you don't have a boss breathing down your throat. You get to find cool stuff. You can sell it online, or you can sell it at a flea market. You could even have little garage sales in front of your house if, you know, if you're fueling a house. Like a strawberry. <laughs> Do you like a strawberry? Trash picking is a bit different than dumpster diving. 
couple different reasons why. One of the reasons, you don't have to get in a dumpster. That's probably the best thing. It takes a little bit of patience. I mean, sometimes you can get right in a dumpster and find all kinds of stuff. I will tell you this, when I've gone trash picking, I always find something cool. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer because you're driving around. Like we've been driving for how long? I don't know, 20 minutes. One thing that people kind of get confused with is like they think we just hit up random people's trash. I mean, there's trash everywhere here. And even though it is technically legal to go through someone's trash, we're, we're not trying to target that kind of trash. The trash we're trying to target is big clumps of trash all in one place. You know, like people maybe just moved from their house or they cleaned out their garage or basement. Uh, we don't really have basements here in Florida. Well, some houses do, but not too bad. Yeah, it looks like a liver in there. Hmm. Oh, dude, that smells so bad, whatever was in there. Got a free rake here. I think I might take that. I wasn't really planning on getting any of these, but when I come across them, I grab them. Hmm. I'll show you why. Christmas trees are awesome to burn in my fire pit. Oh, it smells good. Wait, I'm not sure if you guys are subscribed to my other channel. There is another channel that I do like almost daily videos. If you guys want a good excuse to not get a real Christmas tree, you should watch my video where I went dumpster diving for Christmas trees and I burned them afterwards in my fire pit. And you can see how flammable Christmas trees are. I mean, there's people that have lost their houses because of Christmas trees. And I know in some other countries, I'm not sure which ones exactly, they actually put candles like on their real Christmas trees, which is so dangerous, man, because the tree sap that's on them, I'm not sure, is it the tree sap that's flammable? I'll leave a link here somewhere so you can see what my fire pit was, uh, was like burning about seven or eight Christmas trees. It's actually quite fun. You just hose it down? What do you think? Yeah, I think Heather's daughter would love this it. Is a, this is like a carpet remnant. Dude, it looks like clothes. You know what, like, this kind of makes me mad. Like, I mean, you got perfectly good clothes here that could be donated to a homeless shelter, maybe Salvation Army. Look, look, clothes with tags on them. Look, there's tags on these wow. clothes. Look at this. Size 30, that's my size. Hey, you know what? I'm not prideful. That one's from the garbage. You could donate it to me. How about that? Wow. It's got tags on it. I don't know, why do you think they threw these away? So this is my size shorts. I don't know. Probably had a yard sale today and they couldn't oh, sell so it. Somebody paid $15 for these. Look at that. What else we got? But swimming, swimming shorts. Look, those Wranglers have the... All have tags on them. You know what I think this was? Mm. It's like boyfriend like cheated on her or something she's like i'm throwing all your shit outside <laughs> what do you think i don't know i don't know i just don't like how they're in the garbage you know these are going to go to a landfill oh look look where they got them from there you go the receipts right there target look wrangler when when was this oh this is a couple years ago mm. but still you know what store they came from look this this right here guess what there's money in the garbage. Money in the garbage. When you're going trash picking, it's very important to go 
to the neighborhoods where you know they're gonna have trash the next day. Unless you're gonna go really early in the morning. I prefer to do it at night. I have done it during the day before too. Sometimes you could actually get lucky if the homeowners are there and they see you taking some of their trash. I've had this happen to me a few times where they'll actually offer me more trash. Do people get mad that you're going through their trash? Not really, you're sort of doing them a favor. You're doing the garbage guys a favor as well. If I'm not mistaken, there's a couple homeless people that hang out in front of this store. Really? Yeah, John and I were doing some dumpster diving here not too long ago, and we came across a homeless guy. I mean, he had to be like in his 20s, man. Really? Like, yeah, young, young guy. And wouldn't you know, like right across the way here is a donation thing. We were able to pull out some blankets and stuff for him. Aww, it was freezing. Really? Yeah, well, there were some blankets here, and we brought him a couple blankets That's so for nice free. That's so nice you guys. And I mean, it goes to show you, man, some people are, uh, not that he's prideful or anything, but he didn't really want to come over here and, and look. I mean, they had clothes and stuff like pouring out of there. Yeah, it says, we are working to reuse your clothes and reduce the stress on Florida's landfills. That's one thing that like a lot of people don't realize when it comes to dumpster diving and trash picking. You're actually doing something good for the environment. I mean, look at all those new clothes that, that I found. And they were going to go to a landfill. Some of them brand new. This is a donation thing. This gets donated to to charities. and more, more people have to realize just because maybe they have pride where they wouldn't wear that stuff. Other people that don't have the money or, you know, are just making it. That stuff is like... A blessing in disguise. Yeah, I mean, what about in other countries where they can't afford certain clothing? And look at that. Look how wasteful we are as a nation, man. Makes me mad. We, we would buy a pair of jeans, and because maybe we didn't like them anymore, we're going to throw them out in the landfill. It's so bad for our environment when somebody else can use them. Don't understand it. That made me feel good. <laughs> Melissa's tripping out here because we just got her some Baskin Robbins and she was expecting a bigger ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was almost $30. That's a regular. You can go to Twisty Treat, man, and they'll put this all the way up. Yeah, no knock on Baskin Robbins. I like Baskin Robbins. Good, good ice cream. I but so. come on, man, $3 for this. I mean, look. It's good though. Here, want a bite? It's like hollow too. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing even in the cone. It's just a scoop. One tiny little scoop. I could have went to the store and bought a gallon. Driving stick shift and trash picking is fun. I'm going to have some knee pain in the morning from shifting so much. We need to find at least one more good trash picking house. Down this neighborhood. Anybody need a toilet? I dare you to go pee pee in there. Tonight wasn't the best trash picking night. I will say we did walk away with a couple really cool things. Before we end this video, I want to show you why real Christmas trees are dangerous. You ready? Wow, that tree's really on fire there. Woo! Wow. Look at that. That's like a 15 foot flame, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't seen any of my other trash picking or dumpster dive videos, make sure to show those some love. I also have a vlog channel I call them life movies but I have another channel that I upload pretty regularly on go check it out it's called the Omar gosh I really appreciate you being here and hanging out with us goodbye for now I'll see you soon give me a kiss goodbye tree